Dr. Laurie Sen is an associate editor for Blood. In my own practice, I do a variety of things. So I'm a treating clinician and I see patients with lymphoma. We run clinical trials in my institution, so we're certainly interested in bringing novel therapeutics into the clinic. I've read Blood since I was a trainee. It became my textbook at the time. So it really is a privilege right now to be a part of Blood as an associate editor. The main articles that I review relate to lymphoproliferative disorders. The world of hematologic malignancy right now is just expanding tremendously. So we're at a time where there is an ongoing revolution with molecular insight through biologic advances that really is starting to translate into our ability to identify unique targets that can be exploited therapeutically. So for the first time ever, we're able to come in with therapies that are going to be specific for individual lymphomas. Historically, the treatment of lymphoma has included chemotherapies that have very non-specific targets. So the chemotherapy from the past basically affected not only cancer cells, but also normal body cells. Now, by identifying really unique targets that are specific to cancer cells, we're able to develop novel therapeutics that are very specific for that target, thereby sparing the normal cells and, and really improving the therapeutic ratio. So we're able to specifically hurt the cancer cells or hurt the lymphoma cells and minimize the toxicity of the treatment. I think the most exciting thing right now is the fact that through molecular biology, we've really started to develop an understanding as to what makes each patient different. So clearly there are similarities between different types of patients with lymphoma and different lymphomas, but every patient is really an individual. And we're starting to recognize those differences. Ultimately, I, I think that we're moving closer to everybody's goal, and that's really one of personalized oncology, where you know, it won't be too long before we actually look at an individual patient, understand their own lymphoma, and choose the therapy that's most likely to work for them. I think this explosion of information that we're seeing is broadly evident in cancer in general, but without a doubt, hematologic malignancies has really been at the forefront of advances. As an associate editor, I'm continuously trying to attract the best science to blood that will impact either our understanding of the disease or our ability to treat it better. My goal is to keep blood relevant. I want the reader to be able to pick it up and get the information that they need for their science, for their clinical practice, really what they need to know today.